It's been described as a game changer, a new cross-cultural school in northeast Arnhem Land. The new model for secondary students in the Northern Territory has seen the curriculum designed from the ground up, embedding Yolngu culture at the centre of learning. The Jupiner Education Pipeline Schools are the result of a partnership between the Yothi Indy Foundation and Studio Schools Australia with funding from the Commonwealth Government. And it's hoped the schools will bring together Yolngu, other Indigenous students, as well as students from all backgrounds to learn from each other across cultures and languages. Denise Bowden is Executive Director of the Yothi Indy Foundation, joins me now from Ganyangara community in northeast Arnhem Land on Gumach country. Welcome and thanks for your company, the Savo. Thanks for having me today, Dan. Denise, how's this school going to operate? So the studio schools component is uh, the secondary component, uh, which you've just mentioned, um, and uh, studio schools mentioned this uh, last week, actually, that there was a $75 million investment across four different schools for studio schools, one of which is in northeast Arnhem Land, the Dupama, um, uh, Dupama Studio School. Um, there's another component uh, of this. It's a very complex and very big, bold vision. There's also a transitional component. So transition to six will come before that secondary component and that's through a partnership with the Yothi Uni Foundation's Dupama Barka. The uh, Yothi Uni Foundation's Gama Institute is the third part of that uh, education pipeline and therefore you see from uh, uh, child, child uh, transitional early childhood all the way through to adulthood education. Um, the, the game changer is about uh, a central Yungu cultural curriculum that has been co-designed, owned, driven and managed by the local community from the grassroots up. That's the game changer we're after and we're really excited, uh, Dan. Yeah, well, well on that, what does it mean to have Yolongo culture at the centre of the learning and the entire structure? Well, it's something that hasn't been done before and it's um, um, with, without being too sort of critical about it, but, uh, you know, this, this what we're doing is a, is a groundbreaking work because it's all Indigenous designed and led uh, and managed. Um, so we're moving away from a traditional Western culture. I mean, we're keeping what we need to keep absolutely, but because North East Arnhem Land is such a uh, rich uh, cultural uh, link in the Northern Territory, I mean, there is tre treasure trove were worth of um, cultural uh, curriculum that we can embed inside all of this uh, this learning. A, a child's journey needs to absolutely acknowledge and respect uh, the cultural, deep cultural and deep philosophical beauty of the uh, Yongwu people uh, and therefore we're upending it uh, in, in a certain way uh, and retaining the Western curriculum that is required also. Um, it's, it's different because because uh, it's the grassroots uh, people who are saying they need this change. Um, you know, Northern Territory's got some um, uh, fairly uh, deplorable school attendance rates and, you know, we all want to see that changed. So uh, the local community say, hey, let us try. Um, we're, we're pretty keen to, to kick in any help uh, and, and, and make sure our families are a part, front and centre of all of that learning. Yeah, giving that, embedding that ownership. Look, I know there's been a long point, a long road rather, to get to this point. Can you give me a sense uh, of some of the, the challenges or, or perhaps the learnings along the way? Yeah, so uh, I've been the uh, CEO of the Author Uni Foundation for 11 years and uh, this bold vision uh, came before my time. So we've seen a lot of uh, elder people pass before they've seen this being realised. I don't know about you, Dan, but when I went to school, I learnt French. Uh, and I haven't used that, but geez, I uh, would have appreciated learning your mother for my job right now. So, you know, we are, we are trying to uh, turn the Northern Territory into uh, a, an education uh, place of excellence that can be independently run. Um, uh, we've we've uh, been inside the government system. We've we found a lot of learnings along the way, but the the, the uh, eleven year journey that um, we have uh, come uh, um, has uh, you know deeply respects the likes of the um, the past. Dr. Yuna Pingel, the Ramatum Marikas, a lot of those Yungal families have been um, quite um, central to uh, a lot of this uh, education vision. It's big, it's bold, and it's really pleasing to see that the Commonwealth Government and the Aboriginal Benefits Account here in the Northern Territory have uh, put uh, some, invested their interest inside our projects. We're really keen to get this up and, and running. Um, really exciting times. Yeah, well, you described it as a game shake changer, rather. I can't wait to see uh, what comes out of that and maybe we'll uh, have Yolongo Mata uh, becoming more of a mainstream language. Just while I got you, 
you, Denise. There's been lots of discussion nationally about COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy uh, and concerns about what might be happening in remote Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities. In Gunyangara and other remote communities you've been in, what are you hearing and seeing there? I could say that that uh, the message has been confusing uh, from um, what's coming into our region. Um, most definitely there needs to be, as far as I'm concerned, an education campaign that, uh, in not just English but also in Yulmamata for this region. Um, the Aboriginal health organisations are doing the best that they possibly can, but there is uh, obviously uh, a need for... Um, an explanation as to uh, what you know, things such as AstraZeneca. I mean, that was uh, quite a mixed message. Um, and so it, there seems to be some, um, a bit of a scare uh, messaging uh, going on in our community. Um, we, we'd like to know a little bit more about Pfizer and the uh, regional remote areas here and um, across our homelands also. Uh, so I think there, there does need to be an urgent education campaign um, that uh, takes or defuses a lot of the, um, the, the mis mixed messaging that's been uh, heading into our region. Yeah, interesting to hear. Denise Bowden, we're out of time. Thank you so much from Gunyangara there in the Northern Territory. Appreciate that. Thank you, Dan.